Brendan Bouchard's uh, book, Habits of High Performers, he identified six habits of the high performers. The number one habit is clarity. A lot of times people go and say, here's a career, it's 100K, it's 200K, whatever it is a year, I'm gonna go do that. And then they're miserable. Or they get promoted because society thinks that promotion and being upwardly mobile is the way to go. A lot of times people promote themselves into misery. I'll give you an example. So my neighbor worked for Home Depot and then her husband had a workplace accident and she was supervisor of the customer service department at the local Home Depot. Because her husband had a workplace accident, she says, I need to be able to just work. I can't be the supervisor anymore. A year later, Home Depot came there and says, take the supervisor job or we're gonna fire you. No, I don't want it anymore. I just like and enjoy doing the supervisory piece. They fired her. This is one of the best employees they oh. had. She knew that she didn't wanna do that, but the leadership thought that the only way that you could work here is to be the supervisor when she had proven herself that I could do this job of just being the customer service person without the responsibility of leading others. So a lot of times when we think about careers, we get driven down certain spaces, such as with me in the dairy farm. It's not that I disliked it. I knew that that wasn't my purpose and my passion and that I could probably do it from a skill point of view, but could I do it from a fulfillment point of view? So my encouragement to listeners and people that are watching is to go on this journey of discovery. Don't beat yourself up with how long it takes or what you're doing or not doing. Your life has been leaving you clues about what you like, what you enjoy, who you like to hang out with and start journaling this and paying attention to the pieces that create your fulfilling life.